hey guys how's it going it's been a while welcome back to my channel um i just had to take a little break for a little bit um i had my birthday and everything so you know i just took a little short break we're back in business um so i'll keep you guys waiting uh i'm gonna start a new series on my channel hopefully and i'm going to start doing brand reviews and you know i want to try to do more review stuff so to help you guys you know be small consumers and buy stuff that um find good stuff for you and some tips on shopping and stuff um i'm broke i ain't got money like that and i don't have you know the prs all that so i'm gonna try my best to do it in the most cost efficient way in a way that you guys can see for yourself so i figured the best way to do that is to shop to view brands that um they allow refunds returns and samples and they actually have a booth that you can buy from and try before you buy so the first brand i'm going to try to review for you guys today is chanel super expensive super luxury chanel yes i have a very close friend to me um and who works in the, in the chanel um booth and she was able to hook me up with some samples to review for you guys um now if you don't know um chanel is you know um not really known for their foundation uh they're mostly known for fragrance and skincare and their awesome lipstick so i'm gonna get like you know a brief overview of the company as a whole and i'm going to try to see if we can find some stuff that's good she gave me some skincare samples and makeup samples so i'm gonna try both I actually have been using the skincare for a few weeks now. Um, it's I've been using it every day since my last video, and I do have a pretty good idea of it as of now. Like I decided to start filming it once my moisturizer ran out. So now that it ran out, I think I have a pretty good idea of what I like out of what she gave me. She gave me the Hydro Beauty Gel Cream. This will retell you. $87 for one ounce. Yes, $87 for one ounce. This is just a little sample size. It's only five milliliters, 0.17 fluid ounces. So this stuff is, it's adequate. Um, I wanna say this is definitely not like my favorite product. I use day wear moisturizers and other stuff. It wasn't like groundbreaking to me. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna read what it claims to do. So, this moisturizing cream for normal to dry skin deeply hydrates and protects the skin. Now, actually, now I'm looking, they have a Hydro Beauty Cream and a Hydro Beauty Gel Cream. She gave me a gel one. So, the Hydro Beauty Cream is for normal to dry. It's an ideal for normal skin. Okay, so, the regular cream with no gel is good for normal and dry. And it, it seems this one is for normal skin. So, let me read the product description again. This hydrating gel, gel cream with light, refresh, light, fresh, cooling texture leaves skin soft, smooth, radiant, and infused with moisture, ideal for normal skin. Okay, well that's pretty cool. It has some key ingredients. So, it says, with this unique ability to bloom in the winter. Oh, great. It is the winter time now, so that's why she gave it to me. <laughs> the Camellia Blossom holds the secret to optimal hydration. So now research harness the power in this in the exclusive Camellia Alba PFA, a remarkable pure ingredient that encourages skin natural beauty to restore and retain moisture for a smooth, radiant appearance. Um, so that's pretty interesting. It says you should use Hydro Beauty Gel Cream in the morning and evening as an essential step of your Hydro Beauty ritual. So I did not use it day and night. I only use it in the day. Um, and I just use my advanced night repair and my regular Estee Lauder moisturizer at night. I talked about that I just didn't moisturize at night. So, um, as a moisturizer, it's okay. It wasn't groundbreaking and it made me like, oh, my skin is so amazing, hydrating. No, oh, no, it was just, it was okay. Um, I don't know if it's worth the eighty-seven dollar price tag. I guess. Um, if you like Chanel and cause, I mean cuz it's not a bad moisturizer. It was just not groundbreaking to me It was just like meh, you know kind of like that um, I feel like you can get a good moisturizer Somewhere else. However, it does seem like the ingredients in it 
and it being Chanel, I would assume that the, the ingredients in here are really, really good and like good for your skin. Like, you know, because when you get drugstore stuff, skincare, you can risk, run, run the risk of having really bad ingredients in it. So I think it's just all for preference. If you're willing to spend $90 on a moisturizer, that I felt like didn't really do much for me. If it's like, a, I can understand if it was like anti-aging, which I don't need, then maybe you want to spend more on that high luxury stuff. But just a regular moisturizer, I feel like you can use like shea butter or hmm, just something cheaper, Kiehl's, Clinique, I don't know. I feel like you have to shop around for that kind of thing. But this one I would not recommend. I feel like you can get a better moisturizer or something similar for cheaper. So that was that. Now, the next skincare item, which is the only other skincare item she gave me that I actually really did enjoy, was a LeBlanc Serum Healthy Light Create. I still have some in here and I will continue to use this. Um, I like it because of how like, really thin it is. And she gave it to me for my dark spots. Now, as I was using it, I do feel like it actually did help my dark spots fade away. Um, I don't know if, I don't think I would do anything different other than this so I have to give it to this the reason why they faded it over time um I mean you know my skin actually heals itself regardless but I do feel like as I was wearing it it it, it, it got lighter quicker than it would have um I'll take off my glasses so you can see but I really do think this is good and it works so I'll just take off my glasses so my dark spot was here, and you know, in my eyeshadow, I mean, eyeshadow, eyebrow region here. That's why I usually get dark spots at. And I do feel like it lightened it significantly. I'm probably going to start pairing this with my other moisturizer and just use this and the Advanced Night Repair together. Because serums you can pair together, but you can't pair together moisturizers. So <sighs> the sucky thing for me, liking this, is that this costs $195. And that you get you 1.7 fluid ounces, and this little thing is five milliliters, still 0.17 ounces, just like the um, Hydra Beauty Gel Cream. Now, let's read the description. A three-in-one serum that revitalizes, brightens, and restores the complexion. The light, delicately textured formula offers an immediate freshness and luminous finish, while reducing the appearance of dark spots by 36%. Suitable for all skin types. It's formulated with TXC TM, oh TXC trademark, and Um Flora Extract. Serum promotes skin resistance to both internal and external stressors. Fine pearl protein and nourishing oils comp complement the powerful brightening action by delivering optimal comfort and hydration. Hmm. So it says apply before moisturizing in the morning, and evening to the face, eye contour, and neck. I just applied it to my entire face in the morning. And that was that. And I still felt like it did a significant difference to my dog spots. So I would recommend this definitely. If you can afford it. I cannot. So I would not probably be buying this. That's, too, that's a lot of money for a serum. But it does work. It does. If you have $200. Dig guys. Shoot. I mean. It's your money. I just wouldn't spend my money on it. Because I can't. I'm a struggling college student. So I don't have $200 to spend on a serum. But you know, maybe when there's a sale, it's there in Macy's, so Macy's will have sales. And I don't think they have gifts, but if you have a good, you know, beauty advisor who has samples, then maybe you'll, you know, get some samples out of it. So definitely think it's good. I would recommend the LeBlanc Serum. So that's all she gave me in terms of skincare. Um, so to recap, Hydra Beauty, no. LeBlanc Serum, yes. So now we can get into the fun part, which is makeup. Now, in terms of makeup, um, Chanel, like I said, they just, I feel like, um, I think they just started coming out with a little bit more shades for women of color, which is great. Because I feel like at some point, like, I was probably the darkest shade and no one after me could wear Chanel foundation. So it's good to hear that they come out with darker shades now and concealers. Um, and that they're stepping up the game in terms of colors for women but they still I feel like lacking in some aspects but you know slowly but surely I'll get them paused for that um 
So I'm going to try the foundation on right now. I'm going to demo it. And I'm going to try on their lipstick and eyeshadow. See how they perform. So let's get started. So I'm going to try the Le Tint Ultra Tenue. I don't speak French, but Le Tint Ultra Tenue. Tint Fluid Hot Perfection Ultra Wear Flawless Foundation in the color 121 Calm Now. So this is $60. Um and let's read the part of the description now. So it says, experience flawless wear that moves with you. This fluid long wear foundation glides on smoothly for a seamless second skin effect. Composition. A light diffusing complex creates naturally natural luminosity while absorbent powders leave a perfect matte finish. Amino acid coated pigments deliver weightless coverage while lasting flawless look in 16 seamless shades. Which is not a lot. Um, my favorite foundation is Double and they have 40 plus shades. So that <laughs> is not a lot of shades at all. How to apply. Apply directly onto the face, fingertips, or foundation brush. Build coverage from medium to full. So since they said to use your fingers, I'm going to give it a fair shot and use my fingers. Like a wear test or anything, this is literally just like a first impressions review kind of thing. Um, there's not a looking at... Um, the finish of it and I'm just skeptical about the color so that's how I do my thing I'll probably I'm probably gonna end up doing like a foundation series in the future where I will do wear time tests and compare it to my favorite foundation I just had to accumulate more samples of foundations to use I have a good mix but I'm definitely gonna do a foundation video it's coming soon I really want to test it out like this you know compared to double work that's how I know how good it is I'll probably do like double wear on one side and the other foundation on the other side. That's in the in the future video, so you can look forward to that. Um, so I'm just gonna put this on so my face isn't dry and it won't stick to dry patches. I don't have dry skin, I have normal skin, so I don't think that should be an issue. But you know, just in case. Um, but I will definitely give a full review of this if I get more samples of this. This is just, you know, first impressions kind of thing. This was inspired because of the sample video that I did and how terribly it went. And um, she saw the video and she was so nice to actually supply me these samples. So thank you <laughs> if you're watching this. Yay, thank you. <laughs> um, she also has her own YouTube channel too. She hasn't posted in a while, but I'll link her video in the description. She did a, a dupe video and it's actually really good. So I would recommend you. Yeah, something on foundation. So there it is. So I guess let's try it. Didn't we really say what kind of finish? Well, I guess it said natural finish, so we'll test that. So. The coverage is actually pretty darn good. It's definitely buildable, and I really like that. Wow, yeah, I, I like this. I really like this so far. It, it's like, it's not matte. It's, it's, I see how I say it's natural. It's not luminous whatsoever, though. I felt like it's not as much, I, I, I see more luminous foundations but this is really nice I wish I had more now <laughs> um double wear cost $42 and this is 60 um it's nice foundation I'll give it that um I'll have to give my actual final opinions once I do a comparison in terms of wear but first impressions yeah this is nice um I like the look of it 
I like the texture, I like the finish, and the color is not that bad now that I actually put it on all over. It was a little off, but you can tell the highlight and contour in your BR. You probably wouldn't even be able to tell in person. Yeah, you can work with this, definitely. I mean, people tell me sometimes that my color foundation is too dark, but once I highlight, they never say anything, you know? So, I like this so far. This is a plus. I like this. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to try is their Les Four Ombres um, Multi Effect Quadra Eyeshadow in the shade 266 Tessie Essential. Now, <coughs> if you haven't realized before, if you're new to my channel, I like eyeshadow. That's my thing. Like, I love it. That's what I spent my money on. So, I'm really excited to try Chanel eyeshadows and see if it's good. I'm going to try to give it uh, the best spare shot it can. So, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in the shade caffeine now to see the color payoff because this is actually a pretty new palette and I'm worried that it won't show up on my eyelids so on one I'm going to use caffeine and other I'm just going to go in bare see what happens because I feel like most ladies that this is a market for would not prime their eyeball so I just want to see the comparison to both the one eye with primer and one eye without now this will cost you <laughs> Um, $61 it would seem. Um, let me just triple check that, but yeah, that is very expensive. That's a lot of money. $61 for four eyeshadows, that's a lot. Um, especially when you think that when you compare it to Vizyard, which is $80, and your the quality is tremendous, and you get way more eyeshadow, and a much better pigmentation, so I'm really... <laughs> I'm really skeptical about this and I'm, about to, I'm really going to put it to test now because that's really a lot of money when you think about it. I mean, I guess you could think about it in terms of convenience, but I I prefer eyeshadow that you put it on in the morning and it lasts till night. I'm not really much of a put on makeup to, on the go kind of girl. If, if it don't last all day, I'm not going to retouch. I don't retouch. That's it. Like, if it's done, it's done. So, with that being said, let's read the product description. So, eyeshadow redefined. The Les Four Ombres Compact features a vibrant, pigment-rich formula and eyeshadow palettes inspired by the threads of Chanel Tweed. With spectrum of shade combinations finish and finishes that range from matte to sand to shimmer. Composition. Each easy-to-wear compact offers endless possibilities of two medium tones to color and contour, a deep shadow to intensify it, and a light shade to highlight. Pure, long-lasting pigments ensure an intense color effect, while the soft, smooth texture allows for endless application. Okay, now let's see what it says here. Apply less for ombres dry using the deluxe application or Chanel eyeshadow brush. Each color may be used on its own or blended for a more intense look. So that's interesting. Usually I would spray my shadows with Fix Plus, Fix Plus especially shimmers to give them more boom boom boom. But they want you to use it dry. And they of course recommend you use their stuff. But <laughs> I'm cheap and I'm broke. So I will be using my... BH Cosmetics Smoky Eyeshadow Brushes to achieve the look with these. So, I guess let's just get started now, I guess. Let me take off my glasses um, and see if we can do something with this. So, I'm just gonna do what they said, I guess. I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna use these two shades as, like, a contour. It's to contour my eye. And then I'm and then we use this as a test spot and this as a highlight. And we'll see how it goes. So here I am priming my one lid. So now my eye is not only primed, but it has an even base. So we'll really be able to see the color also. Hopefully. And now we're just gonna go into it. Peel this off. Doubt I'll be using it again. So I'm just gonna take this shade here. Oh, okay, it's definitely on a brush. Awesome. And I'm just gonna put it all over my lid and in the crease. I don't think that did much of anything. Oh, 
Oh, it's a little shimmer. I, I think it looks like a shimmer. I should, I should do swatch it with this first, but I don't want to waste all my pigment, so I'll do it. What? Look at that. It's already. <laughs> I can already see white with it. <laughs> You're not gonna get a lot of use in these, but I'll, I'll do it with whatever's left over. So I'm gonna just put that on the other eye now. You do not get a lot in this, but that's the point. It's a sample. Just all over the lid. Like so. You see it shimmer. It looks like, oh, maybe it's like a satin finish. Yeah, I think it's more satin. Which is fine. And it makes sense for the target audience. I don't think matte is really a thing that people pay attention to once you get older. Oh, I need not only matte shadows to build a look. They really don't care about that. They just want the most easiest color that, you know, something simple that you can wear to work, which I'm totally here for. So now I'm taking this shade in the crease. And it actually looks like it's showing up here. So that's awesome. Very cool. I'm gonna blend it. Very nice. I don't think I'm gonna have to use my big BH cosmetic brush. I think this one is just fine. And it looks good. It's blending nicely. Um, yeah, not bad. Okay, let's try it on the other eye. Let's go into the dark shade now. Um, this is turning out not, not as bad as I thought it would. Definitely not as bad as I thought it would. Taking a dark shade. And just darking it a little bit. Intensify, as they would say. This is nice. I can definitely see why this is popular with older ladies. Because you can totally go from work to night. To, you know, night out in the town kind of thing. This is really cool. I do like that. Aspect of it. And yeah, it's, that's nice. Um, I'm not mad at it. I'm really not. It's not busy art, but it's not bad either. Okay, now I'm gonna do it without the primer. I definitely do think the primer helps because on this eye, it, it looks muddy. Um, I really don't think you can see the color difference. It's a little hard to blend, also I'm noticing like in this region, but I'll keep brushing just to, just to make sure that it's not just me. I'm not brushing enough. I might go over it with the big brush just to get out any harsh lines, but on this side. It looks muddy. It's, you, you can't really see, I don't know. You definitely, I think, would need primer with this. Which is the case for anything, I think. But, so far, I like this eye better. As I can see the difference. Like, especially since my lid here is still naked and here it just looks like all one color. <laughs> But some darkness outside, but it's just not the same effect at all. So now I'm gonna try this highlight shade. Okay, and I'm gonna try to put this um, in the middle of my eye. Oh yeah! Oh wow! Yeah, look at look at that. That's really pretty. I really like that. That's nice. So I'm just gonna put it on the lid. Yes, that's beautiful. I really like this. Yeah, totally. I like it. Oh, shoot. I should really use half of it. <laughs> oh, that sucks. But yeah, that's, that was nice. Okay, right, let's do it with this eye. Not the same effect, like, not the same intensity because there's nothing holding that color there. Um, yeah. If you would, um, mm -mm. 
No. You need, uh, you definitely need primer with this. Definitely without a doubt. But with primer, I can, t I'm, I'm here for it. Like, I'm totally here for it with primer. Wow, this is, I'm impressed. Um, hey, let me do some swashes real quick. I'll do with and without primer so this is going to be the light shade wait let me make sure you guys can see not much there showing so this is without primer my finger swatches which is not that impressive the last one is pretty nice but not as impressive as I thought it would be <laughs> but that makes sense because you know what they say finger swatches is not a very good way to tell you know because you're putting pressure on your hand so let's put some primer on my arm and just do another finger swatch to see if, if primer helps make it pop more primer definitely helped it show more so what would my final verdict be with these? They're nice. Um, if you have the money, you can get them. Um, uh, they're not bad. I, I don't think they're worth sixty dollars. I think maybe twenty or thirty. And thirty's pushing it. If you like Chanel and you want something like compact and to take to work with you, then these are good. I'm I'm good with my Naked Smoky palette and my Neat Matte nudes. You know, I don't really need a little four quad thing i rather just put all this on now or you know put all my makeup on now and hope it lasts through the day i don't take my makeup to work so if you're that type and you love chanel and you have 60 dollars to spend on eyeshadow then yeah get it i mean show money you can do what you want with it i wouldn't get it but it's not bad like it's just you know it's okay i don't think anyone would like it's nice to have pigmentation but I guess so most people it's like well you know I'm not a makeup artist if you have that mindset then yeah it's fine it's good for the everyday working woman all right so now the last thing that we're gonna do review is their most famous stuff lipstick so here I have um Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle travel size oh tester sample and I have the Rouge Coco Le Rouge hydrating continue ultra hydrating lip color and it comes like this really cute packaging has a little nice brush and the color here um, I'm not a fragrance girl I mean fragrance is what you make of it so I'm not really gonna review fragrance I think that's silly <laughs> but fragrance is fragrance if you like it you get it if you have money you get it if you don't go to Victoria's Secret back the body works that's how I feel about my fragrance. Rouge Coco will cost you $37, which is really expensive. Essay Lauders is $32, Dior is $35, Chanel is $37, so that's really expensive. <sighs> and their packaging is like not even as cute as Dior, so I don't know. I'm skeptical. I'm not I'm not the type to spend all my money on lipstick. I have an Anastasia lip palette as you've seen before, and that was $40, and I got all those lipsticks. But lipstick is a travel with you kind of thing. And I know a lot of older women like to buy lipsticks. Oh, mature ladies like to buy lipsticks. So, I don't know. We'll see. Product description is Rouge Coco's lip color is more expressive than ever in hydrating next generation formula that provides full coverage with a creamy yet lightweight finish. An exclusive uh, all composition, an exclusive complex of Joja Bar and Mimosa butters, sunflower wax, and silicone provides lasting hydration and luminous shine with a vibrant color spectrum. Featuring shades names inspired by Coco Chanel and friends and artists and lovers who inspired her. How to apply: line and fill in lips with preferred lip pencil in a matching shade. Rouge Coco directly to lip, or use a chapter lip brush. I'm cut off per usual. I don't really need a new one. Um, but I was just find it. And I like 
like it. Uh, it's shiny. It's moisturizing. And the color is nice. I'm not mad at it. Oh uh, yeah, this is actually really pretty. I can totally wear this. I'm not a lifted girl, but I'm feeling this. I can see why these are popular. I have no comment on wear or anything. But lipstick is kind of like something I feel like you have to keep putting on. Unless it's liquid, so... It's nice though. I like how moisturizing it is. It's smooth. It's easy to put on. I'm glad it on really nicely. It made my lips look nice and juicy. I like it. So, I guess I'm going to end it here. Um, let me know what you guys think of this video. If you like the format of it. Um, leave a comment on what brand you want me to review or do a look, uh, 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 overview of next. Um, if you like any of these products and you end up getting it, hey, let me know. I'm allowed as I will to be of help. I'm going to try to do more of these types and yeah, just let me know what you think. I hope to see you guys in the next video. I'm going to try to post more, maybe Mondays, but who knows at this point. It's kind of hectic right now, but... I will keep posting so just keep subscribe just subscribe so you know when I do and yeah appreciate you guys and I hope you have a wonderful holiday I'll be back soon though so leave a comment like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye